Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of SVG Sports Tech On Demand. Uh, we're talking to all of our uh, all of our sponsors in terms of what they're doing recently, because uh, a lot of technologies are happening, especially in the spring season. I have the pleasure to speak with Dale Bertucci. He is the Small Cell Director of Sales for Venues for Crown Castle. Dale, how are you doing, sir, and how is the new year treating you so far? So far, so good. Very busy. Uh, the springtime always uh, is the busiest time for us, especially when we're talking about sporting venues. Yeah, right. Spring, spring season. So you got baseball. You just had the the college basketball season just ended. Soon enough, it'll the dog days of summer, and then we'll lead into the fall, which means football season is back, which is also another big one in the states here. Uh, but we're here to talk about in venues and especially connectivity. Um, we're talking about making sure that fans are having a, a, a nice mobile experience in addition to what they're seeing on the floor, the ice, what have you. So in terms of Crown Castle, Dale, how are you differentiating yourselves from other companies when it comes to, you know, game day connectivity? Yeah, I think, uh, well, thank you, first of all. But, of course. Uh, just wanted to highlight some of the facts uh, surrounding Crown as a company, right? So game day, uh, we always think about DAS traditionally, right? In building DAS along with Wi-Fi, but Crown um, is really a DAS provider. So you think large picture, like you said, 80,000 fans converging on a, on a stadium. It goes just beyond the cellular need, right? That's the main, main uh, driver of everything right, we right. do in a stadium. It's to provide uh, seamless cell phone coverage, but it goes beyond that to game day apps or other other technologies that that the venue uh, or the, the team is trying to provide, right? So you need a robust network that goes just beyond providing uh, data and talk services, right? It's 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 a uh, a latency issue. So Crown has invested um, uh, billions of dollars in in fiber infrastructure, right? So that's going to differentiate Crown in a lot of uh, different ways, and. and meaning that we've got fiber back call services if needed, dark fiber to our landlords so that they can um, offer, it might not be Crown offering the services, it might be that landlord providing those services. So uh, along with the DAS, you, it's a complimentary service. So that's important to, uh, to our landlords and to our venue partners, because that's what it is, it's a partnership, right? This is a long-term, partnership where we're the technology is continually changing right we're moving we're at that point where we're moving beyond 4g lte and the 5g services internet of things however you want to define it but uh we're we're a provider we're an infrastructure provider first right that's what we do so we're going to partner with you on whatever that solution is so okay so Right now, the venues, uh, their networks are a little bit less congested because fans, unfortunately, are either not there or uh, a limited amount of capacity. But when fans do come back, uh, we've been seeing this trend in the venue space about the whole idea of a, a full immersive experience for the fans. So they can come out early, tailgate. You see the Hollywood Park is a new one, Texas Live out there in Arlington with Globe Life Field and the surrounding stadiums. Uh, we're talking about making sure that their uh, their game day, you know, the amount of time they spend at the stadium should be full connectivity for them. But also you mentioned a lot of the, uh, the venue elements are being shot out into those areas on LED screens and stuff like that. So when we're talking about a fully connected type of environment, why do you think it's so important? And what do you think are the benefits for when a fan comes in, they park your car to the moment they step out of that car and to the moment they come back to leave? Why do you, what do you think are the, the benefits of kind of making sure everything's connected together? Well, it's important. It's important to the team, uh, whatever team it is, right? Especially now that you're seeing these new facilities going up where it's a stadium, it's an arena, it's an entertainment district along with uh, uh, hotel amenities. Right. So to your point, you're going to drive up, put your car away, and you're going to spend a weekend potentially, right? Enjoying a game and all the, all the uh, amenities that go with that. So you want you want the ability to use your phone as you walk into the hotel, as you walk across the street or uh, whatever the facility <laughs> is into the actual arena or stadium. It's got to be seamless because to your point, we're talking about um, people on their phones talking, um, also utilizing ticketless apps, right? Depending on, on the team, um, there are all kinds of uh, uh, mobile um What's the word I'm looking for for uh, menu ordering, right? Yes. For food services, right. right? I mean, there's all kinds of applications 
that we can't even think about right now. These are the existing ones, but more are coming. So it's important to, uh, to that venue to be to be at the forefront and thinking about the next uh, the next new killer app, if you will. Yeah. Right, and That's also important to the user. Right, and moving forward, uh, sports betting wherever it's legal, real time sports betting could also be another feature that, uh, where it's legal, uh, as mentioned, but. Wherever more, if more states start rolling that out, that's something else that needs to kind of be real time to make sure that things are accurate and precise. But uh, Dale, the future looks bright. I really appreciate you taking the time, sir. Stay healthy, stay well. And uh, hopefully sometime soon with this vaccine coming out, we can say hi in person and catch up. Okay, thank you very much.